start, just give me your name and your school, please. Paula Busher, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Perfect. Tell us your general thoughts about the upcoming season. I'm excited about the season. I always think this is a great time of the year. Your players are excited. Everybody's undefeated, so everybody's really fired up. But I think it's going to be a great season in the OVC. We've got so many talented players, especially guards, and I believe it's just going to be a battle every night. What do you like most about your team this year? Their energy. We've got nine players that are freshmen and sophomores. We've got five upperclassmen, and I think those youngsters bring that just that energy every single day, and it's just it's fun to coach them. They go at it really hard. Some days are better than others, just like for everybody, but it, it's, it's really a fun atmosphere day to day in practice. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? I think the biggest challenge is that consistency every single day, trying to improve when you walk on the practice floor so that you improve in games, and then staying healthy. I think staying healthy is important for everybody, but really that consistency of bringing that energy and, and that intensity every single day to practice. What do you think about the OVC overall this year? I think it's going to be very talented from the top to the bottom. You know, obviously UT Martin is that team on the top, but after that, I think there's an awful lot of teams that any given night can knock somebody off. So I think we're going to have to be prepared every single night that we get ready to play. What will it take for your team to cut down the nets in that school and why? I think just the fact that we have to continue to improve. I really, I stress that stepping out on the practice court every day and making sure we got better today. And it doesn't have to be leaps and bounds. It's just a gradual process. It's a long season. I just think that making sure that we continue to improve on a day-to-day -day basis. And then especially, I think toward the end of the year, you have to be healthy. Tell us about your non-conference schedule. Our non-conference schedule is really tough. We, uh, we just kind of believe in let's go play whoever wants to play us. We'll play anybody. And we open up uh, with Missouri. And then a couple days later, we go on down to KU. And I think that's going to be a tough opener for us with those two schools. But um, and then you know we turn around, and we've got a few home games. And, and we, I think our schedule is extremely tough. And the whole purpose of our non-conference schedule is to prepare us for the OVC play. The OVC is hosting the Women's Final Four this year. Tell us what an opportunity like that means for the conference. I think this is a great opportunity for the OVC to host the Final Four. I mean, what better city in Nashville? I think the enthusiasm and just this is such, I, I look at this as a fun city, a city that is very vibrant. And I think hosting the Final Four and, and having you know thousands and thousands of people coming in here and excited about women's basketball. And I'm hoping that that just makes sure that that energy continues throughout the season for our OVC play. And it really will come, you know, come to an end at the, at the Final Four. And that was really, really bad. OK, want to do that one again? <laughs> You look at me, oh, hey, that was really bad. You want me to keep going? Whoop, cut? Uh, no. <laughs> that's good. You want to do it again? Or you want? You can touch it again. If you want. Okay. You want to do it again? Sure, sure. Okay. Go ahead and ask me one more time. That okay. was good. The OVC is hosting the Women's Final Four this year. Tell us what an opportunity like this means for the conference. I think the OVC hosting the Final Four is just a tremendous opportunity for our conference and also for the city of Nashville. I think the Final Four is just a, it's a great environment around the Final Four. The games are excellent and just promoting women's basketball. And I think for ourselves, for our conference, having this opportunity to host it is, is tremendous. That's it. That's it.